Google might skip it, but almost every other company, from startups to Fang, will grill you on core computer science subjects. SQL, OOPS, OS, Networks, DBMS. These aren't just theoretical subjects, they can be deal breakers. Stick with me till the end and I'll give you a complete roadmap as well as resources on how to study them. Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and in this particular video, I'll walk you through complete roadmap for core CS subjects. I have personally gone through multiple different tech interviews, I have been on the other side taking the interviews, I have guided a lot of students and I've seen firsthand what actually matters. Not every subject deserves equal amount of effort, not every chapter is as equal as others in terms of their chances of getting asked in an interview. And if you prepare blindly, you will waste a lot of months. By the end of this particular video, you will know which subjects to prepare in what order. You will know subject-wise key areas to focus on. You will have a proper roadmap on how to prepare them. And at the end, I'll also give you beautiful notes on what to follow to read them. And if you're serious about structured learning, check out Algos in its Core CS section, which has step-by-step -step Core CS subjects designed exactly for interviews. I'll leave the link below and it's absolutely free for you. So let's start with the main part. Why is Core CS subject matters? Because almost every company is asking them. The companies don't want you to format definitions. They want you to understand things and explain why things needs to be done this way and not the other way. For example, how would you use indexes in SQL? How do you avoid deadlocks in operating systems? Why would you prefer say UDP over TCP in a gaming app? These type of round also helps them measure the depth of your knowledge. Even if you are very good at DSA, if you are not able to answer these questions, you might come across as someone who has weak foundations. So Vivek, how to prepare? them. In my opinion, the order should be number one, to prepare SQL because a lot of companies ask database related queries. Try to learn about queries, joins, subqueries, indexes, transactions. A very sample question for this subject might be like, find out the second highest salary in a database of all employees. You should also know how SQL connects to the DBMS theory. Things like normalization should be clear to you as well as how to create indexes on the databases. After SQL, you can move to OOPS and LLD a little bit. I can tell you interviewers love asking OOPS question these days. OOPS concept like polymorphism, inheritance, a little bit around solid principles, abstraction, encapsulation, these are very easily asked. They might ask you to write C++ or Java code which has certain OOPS object in it and some concept embedded in it. Sometimes they ask a real world type of scenario like design a parking lot where they want to see whether you can write object oriented code really well or not. Structuring real world problems into code is something that all companies love to ask and that's why they are asking so many of machine coding or LLD round these days so that they can see if you can model them into object-oriented codes. Next is operating systems. You should know about threads, synchronizations, scheduling, processes, all these kind of things. Very simple questions like thread and process differences can be asked in an interview. The interviewer also tries to go into deadlocks, semaphores and memory management often because these are things that are also used in codes. So the clarity of operating systems really matters. Then you can go back to DBMS now which actually ties to the SQL that you had learned. This time you can cover transaction and and its acid properties, indexes, normalization, ER diagrams. These are very common things asked in an interview. You can get questions like, what is a deadlock in a database? It is actually a very frequent topic in a lot of service-based companies, so you should definitely prepare databases very well. Last, in my opinion, would be computer networks because I sometimes term it as an optional. You should know the very basics, like difference between TCP, UDP, how does stack works, how does your browser works when you search a particular domain. But beyond that, going into too much of depth is not often required in many interviews. Interviews. Think about applying to a networks role in Oracle. That might ask you networks in details. So in that case, you'll have to prepare it in details. Next, let's move to the focus areas in each of these subjects. SQL, focus on how to write queries and building optimizations on top of it. Finding top X in a certain condition, sorted by certain things. All these kind of questions are very, very common. Make sure that you practice actually writing the SQL queries because if you don't, you will not be able to write the queries in the test. Then when we move to OOPS plus LLD, please implement classes on your own. You cannot write object-oriented codes directly going into an interview. Focus on a little bit of solid and design pattern as well for LLD interviews these days. Designing elevator system, design book my show kind of systems where you can book seats. These kind of questions are very common. Parking lot was one thing that I mentioned earlier. Please prepare at least these three problems very well before you go into any interview. In operating systems, I feel there are like four key topics. Process threads, one particular thing. CPU scheduling, deadlock and its prevention. And then all about memory like paging, 
segmentation, virtual memory. In fact, virtual memory was asked to me in one of my interviews. You should know things like producer consumer problems. What are the different standard problems that can occur and how did OS actually solve it? If you do these things, I think you should be generally good to go in an interview. In DBMS, please prepare acid properties. I had covered about acids in detail in one of my previous live streams on my channel around placement season. So do check it out. Indexing and query optimization. Make sure that you prepare them very, very well because it's something that is used in industry and is often asked in interviews as well. Normalization. One normal form, 1F, 2NF, BCNF. All these kind of things are often asked in interviews as well. When we come to networks, I think you can just prepare about TCP versus UDP, HTTP versus HTTPS. How does the secured part works? OSI or TCP IP layers that are there. Basics of DNS and CDN systems. As well as real world questions like what is the difference between 2G, 3G, 4G or what happens when you type google.com on your browser. If you are doing these things, I think you should be good to go in an interview. Mastering core CS is like building a really solid foundation. You can't build a skyscraper on a sand. These things might feel a little bit boring when compared to DSA, but in my opinion, these are very important for you to be a good engineer and that's why a lot of interviews will ask you these things. And remember, you don't need to remember everything. You just need a structured prep. Follow the order, SQL, OOPS plus LLD, then OS, then DBMS and then networks. And make sure to cover the important points first in all of them. I hope you found this particular roadmap helpful. If you did, I just want you to do three things. Number one, hit the like button. It just helps this video reach to a lot more audience. Number two, if you are interested in more such videos, subscribe to the channel because I'll keep putting more interesting content for you all. And the third, in case you forgot, there is a very golden material on Core CS available for you all on Algosynth's website. It's freely available for you. Go check it out. It will be absolutely lifesaver before any of your interviews as a revision note. Drop in the comments, where are you right now in your Core CS prep? and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Keep preparing.